Hi, this is Brian Ship with Functionally Fit. In this call, I'm going to begin a new series emphasizing better hip mobility through the use of a sliding disc. In this particular call, I'm going to really show you how to open up the, the backside hip, work on improving extensibility through the psoas and the rectus femoris and hip flexor region, if you will. So we'll begin by placing the right foot on the, the sliding disc, or left foot is stationary, and then we'll kind of reach back as we simultaneously lift the arms up and over the opposite shoulder, pause, and come back up. So we're looking for a nice, smooth, controlled motion, avoiding hyperextension through the low back, coaching them to get into a comfortable stretch, but not something that is painful or forced. Typically perform five or 10 smooth repetitions, switch sides. For those clients that are a little more advanced, maybe you wanna add a medicine ball or some other apparatus, maybe a kettlebell, but we can kind of couple it now with a lift here overhead and kind of come back. But we have the same controlled motion where we're working on increasing mobility through the front of the hip. So again, these exercises are great as part of your movement prep, your dynamic warm-up, just trying to get the hips engaged, get our mobility optimal, whether you're training in the gym or perhaps you have a client that's getting ready for an athletic event. We want to optimize their movement patterns and their mobility to reduce injuries and obviously enhance their performance.